Hi, today I want to show you soldering iron that I received from GVDA. This soldering iron sounds really interesting, but how it sounds like and what is the reality, I have to check. And here I have the full kit that you can order from AliExpress. You can of course order only some parts of this kit, but I have here for you the full maximum kit that you can order with all the accessories and I will test all of them if they are really that good as they say. And let's unbox all of the accessories and see what is inside. Let's start from the main point, the soldering iron. Here we have a manual, USB-C to the DC barrel cable and the soldering iron. So you can see there isn't much in the package, but what is interesting is this DC input port because we receive a USB-C to the DC barrel cable and we can power this soldering iron from the USB-C from 9 to 24 volts. So if you have USB high voltage power supply, you can use up to 24 volts and the soldering iron will heat up really fast in just a few seconds. But also if you have a power bank or a USB charger that has only 9 volts output, you can also use it. It will heat up slower, but also it will work. It won't work with the 5 volts. You need between 9 volts and 24 volts. So that's the minimum that you can order, just the soldering iron. And let's see the accessories. First one are additional soldering tips. We have one in the package. We can order four more with additional shapes. In the package is the straight edge on the angle. We can receive four more where first one is a sharp point like a pen. Second one is similar to the default tip, but it's a little bit smaller. Third tip is also pointy like a pen, but it is more sharp than the first one. And the last one is more thick soldering tip. Let's open the second accessory. It should be the power supply. If you don't have high power, high voltage power supply, you can order from them with the soldering iron this power supply. This is 65 watts power supply up to 20 volts and have USB-C and USB-A output. Of course you can use it to charge any USB device, not only this soldering iron, but it will work with it with the high power and this too should be a stand for the soldering iron. Here is the base with the sponge for cleaning the tip and here we have a stand. We can take it off and close it and it takes less space. When we use it, we just open it and have a useful stand for the soldering iron. And the last package should be arms that we can mount to this stand and have it hold some cables, elements, anything that we need additional hand for it. Here we have four arms and four these little arms to hold things. Let's mount it. Here are the screws. We just in these four points screw it inside. So let's hope that it will work or no, it was my mistake. Here on the second end, we just unscrew this nut on the end. Screw it into this hole on the stand. Let's take it for a while. I'm not sure if we should screw it under or above the sponge, but let's try to do it under the sponge. I'm not sure why they give us this nut. Maybe not to go too deep because with the nut, I go to the space where the sponge should be. So maybe I put this nut on the screw and now screw it in. Yes, it doesn't go inside. So they probably made the screw a little bit too long and they gave us this nut to make it shorter so the sponge fits inside. So we don't have to unscrew those screws. And we have a spider. Of course I'm joking. If you put these arms up so you can hold your things with it. And on top we have those little arms that we can screw on the other end. Here is the screw smaller than on the other end so you won't mess it up. That's how it looks like assembled. Let's test if it holds uh, its position. So let's put like them in one point. They are moving a little bit. 
So you have to a little bit work with it to stay in the correct position, but it is really flexible. They are unscrewing, so you should screw them really hard so they will stay inside and won't move, but they are working. We have four additional arms for holding our wires, our devices, and it should be useful. I will test it. So that's all that we can receive in the full kit. We have this uh, stand that we can just place our soldering iron in it, this way or this way. We have this sponge. We have four arms for holding our wires. We have four additional tips for the soldering iron. And we have 65 watts USB-C power supply. And that all you can buy on AliExpress. So this is the theory. Let's test in practice if it is working and if it is that good how it sounds like. So I prepared a little testing station. Of course, be careful when you solder use all the required safety gear. So GoPro overheated and I've took some break and tested it off camera, but I've prepared new cables to show you them on camera that it is working. And I've changed the tip to the bigger one. And now I will show you that it is working. And also I sticked anti-slip pass on the bottom of this holder because it was moving around and now it should stay in the place. And I will use the uh, highest heat lever for this. And without problem, these cables are now connected. Let's now try on the thicker cables, the harder situation. Okay, I had problems with this one. I'm not sure if it was the wrong thing, the two thick cables or the soldering iron had uh, too little power, but uh, it needed a lot of time to heat up the cable and to start flowing the solder. But uh, it worked. On the thinner cables, it works much better. And also, I've already soldered this ESP and I used this, the thinnest, the sharpest tip in this one. And I can recommend it for this job. So this kit with additional tips is useful. So you can better do your job at the correct scenario. And what could I tell you more? It is working. It is a soldering iron. The tip is heating up with the USB-C cable. You have three settings of the temperature, low, medium, and high. You can really easily and fast switch the tips. And uh, it is really useful for a portable smart soldering iron that you can take with you anywhere and power it from the USB-C cable. So if you need a smart portable USB-C powered soldering iron, I can recommend you this one. And I can recommend you to buy these additional tips because uh, they can help you. And if you want to, you can also buy this stand with the additional arms. And if you don't have a USB-C high power power supply, you can of course also buy the kit with the power supply. And that's all for today. Like, subscribe and be nice.